everybody. Ah, yeah, today different way to work. Because uh, I had to go to the eye doctor, and despite me wearing glasses, I don't think I'm seeing well. That sounds good. Um, not much to say today, although the last time I said this, I made a 20 minute video. But let's see. Uh, just here? Okay. So, um, and I'm still with the other car. You can see the red here. <laughs> it's much bigger. Um, it's more or less what are we gonna look forward to the, the weekend. It's kind of the last weekend before Christmas. And I know that the Premier League will be playing on the 26th Boxing Day as well. And yeah, tonight I think uh, Liverpool will play Wolves. That's kind of an interesting one. I saw there's also Everton against Tottenham. That's the big one in the Premier League. I think the biggest game today and I'm uh, not sure about the weekend, but it's a pretty, probably, uh, is Dortmund against Gladbach, uh, which is tonight. Unfortunately, I won't be able to see that, but for uh, first against second, that sounds like just a game. And I think it is played in Dortmund, so to me that means if Dortmund needs points in the final game to secure the championship, they have to go to the new Berkeleyberg Stadion. Uh, that's not an easy task. Uh, they better wrap. I hope they have wrapped it up before then. Uh, Bayern has to play in Frankfurt, which is also not. Also not the easiest, but as I said yesterday, I'm not sure, uh, Frankfurt seems to have a little bit lost, not lost the plot, but you know, um, not on that great form anymore. Uh, in Italy, of course, I will watch Milan Fiorentina, uh, you know, yeah. I'm a masochist when it comes to my teams, uh, I watch them when they're good, I watch them when they're bad. I sometimes wonder myself why I'm doing it, but okay. That's I guess what being a fan is about. I don't expect much from Milan anymore. Um, I'm actually looking more forward to tomorrow. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> yep. uh, tomorrow in the evening is Juve Roma. And now thinking about it, uh, it's a bigger game by name than by so yeah, uh, I think, what was it, Cagliari, Lazio, I really wish that Cagliari will do something, but you know, uh, it's gonna, at least it's gonna be interesting, let's put it that way. But yeah, that's basically the weekend. I looked in Spain, there was almost nothing where I say I need to watch this, I think uh, Barcelona playing at Celta de Vigo. Uh, yeah, nice at home. That, uh, Real Madrid is having something, but uh, nothing really like that. I'm actually hoping to get a blog post out to a day and maybe schedule a few for the upcoming uh, days. Ah, yeah, there's also the small matter of the Club World Cup final, which I think happens on Sunday. I'm actually not, you see, it's, I, I'm not even sure. I'll be watching it because I don't see anything else but a clear Real Madrid victory, which, which from one point is exactly what I want because I'm European so I want European teams to win. On the other side, it's Real Madrid, they have won it so often already, uh, enough of it in a way. And for that reason, yeah, maybe Al Ain should win something, but I again, I a, don't see it and I'm not even sure if I would be happy. Yes, there would be this uh, Schadenfreude from my part that Real Madrid didn't win this and were beaten by a small Asian team. Um, but really, no. No. Uh, it would, I mean, the competition has some legitimacy, I think, for all the non-European teams, but uh, whoever comes from Europe, is so gonna dominate at the moment that I really question the use of this tournament and the value of this tour to tournament. I mean, they're all taking it seriously uh, because you know it is a little bit. Uh, you can't put it here on your uh, shirt 
and maybe this year Real Madrid could even do that. But honestly, it's a Mickey Mouse tournament, and I, that's why FIFA wants to make a Global Cup, World Cup. We have that, and it's called the Champions League. And yes, there are no European, uh, there are no uh, non-European teams in there, and there's a, and it's a good reason. I mean. As much as I liked watching Boca River and I understand the rivalry and I want South American teams, I, I really wish we could go back to the time when there was more parity that um, South American teams actually could compete with European teams. I Believe me, I would love to see nothing more. Uh, I don't like this hege hegemony of um, European teams on these competitions. Uh, and even more so that you know the Champions League you basically on one hand can say who's gonna win it uh, so I would wish for that however uh, making a global Champions League will make a worse tournament than the Champions League is at the moment because uh, as nice as these teams are it's great to see like Shima Antlers and Alain and Chivas, uh, teams that have, um, you know, that's some exotic flair, flair to it, and you know, at least Chivas and River are uh, teams that have um, quite some clout to them. So, I mean, it's not that they are uh, minor teams. You just know that they're not good enough. And I would even say that in the Champions League, those teams would have a hard time making it uh, out of the group stage. Sorry to say, but I don't see them anywhere, anywhere much better. They are bigger names than they are uh, teams. And for that reason, a global Champions League is a bad idea because it will introduce more bad soccer, it will saturate the market. We don't have space for it in the calendar. It's just uh, the competition between UEFA and FIFA uh, of who is gonna make more money and the biggest cash cow of all these tournaments is probably the World Cup but if you consider overall quality of play the Champions League is right there and I have been saying for years and even with uh, just a few clubs winning lately and you know we have to go back to 2013 to have a non-Spanish team winning um, even with that said, uh, the Champions League is the quality-wise the best competition that we have, and we don't need a global competition to dilute it anymore. Um, that's where where I stand. I'm I might be even okay with um, uh, you know increasing the field for the World Cup, although I'm not. I, 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 I honestly would like to go back to 16. Uh, to have really some good teams there, but the 32 format was great. The one that they want to have at 48 is not so much. Okay, well, that's my take on the Club World Cup. Now, uh, very quick, uh, during Christmas break, this weekend I will try to give you my thoughts on the games that I've been watching. I might do a top 10. I surely have a top 10 of best shirts of the year in mind. Um, so that is a top 10 that I'm, I, I, I want to do. Uh, I don't know how much time I will have, to be honest with you, and for that reason I'm not sure uh, how many videos I'm going to be able to make. Uh, the good thing is I'll be working 27, 28, so there's a good chance for that. But yeah, don't expect too many posts in the upcoming two weeks or so. Uh, I. This is time that I want to spend with my family. Uh, let's put it that way. I will try to do a few things. I will try uh, to stay updated, but the frequency will diminish a little bit and I will pick it right up. Um, come, say, January, uh, when you know when the leagues get going. Uh, it's a two-week winter break for most leagues, except the Premier League. And for that reason, uh, I want to take a short break as well. I think I need a little bit of a short break, as much fun as I have doing this. But you know, uh, I think my family and my kids also deserve a little bit of our attention. 
Okay, well, um, let me know which games you'll be watching this weekend, uh, what you like, uh, what you're looking forward to, what you think about uh, Club World Cup. As I said, I find it a rather unnecessary competition, but it makes for a really, really, really nice badge on the jersey of the winning team. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, subscribe to my channel right here, it, the icon is there. If you like, look at the playlist that I've posted here and I will talk to you soon. Up until then, bye.